Right now that we got HipVoice installed, uh, we need to invite users to build our uh, list. So the unit on the left is called Steve Smith, and the unit on the right is called Jane Smith. So Steve's going to go ahead and invite Jane. He's going to click on the BlackBerry menu, and then he's going to click on Invite Contact. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is search the HipVoice database to see if there's any users that we may know. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Smith. I could even type in the full name, but in this case I'm going to click on search, and then I see Jane Smith is right there. I scroll down, hit the BlackBerry menu, and click on invite. Now you'll see over here, when I click on yes, it's going to say on Jane's end, would you like to accept, reject, or decide later? So Jane's going to go ahead and accept the invitation because she knows Steve. Uh, now that I'm in the user screen, I just click on the back button, and now you can see now we're both connected. Some of the things that we have on the HipVoice menu, you'll see that uh, the status is available and at the down, uh, right here at the bottom right hand corner, we have the data usage. So you'll see how much data that person has used. So in order to talk to someone, all I have to do is just scroll over their name, hit the push to talk button here on the side, and hello, Jane, are you there? Hello, Jane, are you there? And Jane got that message. Now Jane, on the other hand, can hit the PTT button and go, yep, I got it. Now some of the other things that you um, actually can't convey in the video but you can actually feel is when you hit the PTT button you'll actually get a vibrator, uh, a vibrate and so it's vibrating to let you know that you're holding down the PTT button and when you let go um, you will also get a little bleep. Um, you also have a green dot right here. Uh, that green dot tells you that Jane has received that PTT message. Um, if it's a red dot that lets you know that Jane hasn't received it, maybe because Jane's on a phone call call and the minute Jane goes back um, off the phone call into just a regular uh, off the phone call uh, Jane will have received the message. Here's some other shortcut keys that we have so if I press the number one I'm here in the user screen if I hit the number two uh, I can even have my message log so I can repeat or replay by clicking on my push to talk button yep, I, got it. I could repeat any outgoing and incoming messages Hello, Jane, are you there? and uh, that's that message. So uh, the other nice thing is I could replay the message by clicking on the zero button on my keyboard. Yep, I got it. Keep clicking it. Yep, I got it. Okay, so by clicking on the zero, the zero will always replay the last message, or if I hit the number two, I can go ahead and get my log of messages. I'll click my number one button, and I'm back here. If you don't remember any of these, it shows you right there. Number two is the log, number three is clear check, number seven is change status, uh, number zero is replay the last. So I'm going to go ahead and change the status of my uh, device. Actually, we'll change it on Jane's device here. So if I click on the number seven, it will show in a second or two, Jane says do not disturb, and now it shows do not disturb on that. Now with the do not disturb feature, you can still PTT uh, Jane, but she won't receive it. It won't come out of her speaker, but it will tell her that there are some PTT messages. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the PTT button. Hey Jane, I know you're in a meeting right now, but we need to connect after, after your meeting and see if we can uh, finalize on that contract. So the minute I let go, it tells me that Jane has uh, Do Not Disturb. Just to, again, give me that alert. I get that green dot that tells me that she received it. But you see over here, it says message, missed messages is one. Now if I send another message, testing, I'll get it over here. Click on OK. And now she has two missed messages. So how does Jane, when she comes out of her meeting, uh, make sure that she can replay those messages? So all she has to do is just hit the number two and go into her log and scroll down and hit the push to talk button for each one of those messages. Hey, Jane, I know you're in a meeting right now, but we need to connect after, after your meeting and see if we can uh, finalize on that contract. Right. There's that one, and then there's this one. Testing. And now her log is completely clear. So she can go back. Now she could also get out of Do Not Disturb by hitting the 7 key. And it will come and update on my end as well in a little while. So these are some of the features that we have uh, in HipVoice. Another neat feature is that let's say Jane is doing email. She's doing something else completely different. I can still PTT her. Hey Jane, what's going on? And she'll get the message. Hey Jane, what's going on? She'll get the message even though she's not in hip voice. And to respond or reply back to me, all Jane has to do is hit the hip voice button once and then hit it again to reply back. And then hit it again to reply back. 
again to reply back. So you see how intuitive and how easy hip voice is. So if you don't remember any of these things, all of the, all of the menu functions are right here. And uh, lastly, if I want to, I could sign out uh, by clicking on sign out. If I click on sign out, are you sure you want to sign out? I'll say yes. And uh, hit the back button. Are you sure you want to exit hip voice? Yes. So, and on Jane, she'll see that I'm not online. But if I want to come back online again, I just click on my left side convenience key. And there I am. I'm on both sides. And I can quickly connect to her. Hey, Jane, I'm back. Hey, Jane, I'm back. And then there you have it. That's hip voice. Very easy, very intuitive, and it just works. It's a beautiful piece of program that runs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and you'll have fun using it and increasing your productivity. Thank you very much, and happy PTTing.